I'm wearing my Jimmy G jersey because he stays slandering my QB. Grant. Hey! <laughs> he stays slandering my QB. Okay, no, nah, I'm, I'm not going to be naive. Um, There's things about Jimmy that, like, just, like, completely, like, makes you want to, like, throw, like, my controller to the TV. Like, his lack of, like, I feel like, I don't know, like, I'm just, like, like, I'm younger, so, like, I don't really understand what, like, they, the, like, the, an adult brain thinks like like when he throws like when he throws like an interception it completely just like unfazes him like he's not like mad at all <laughs> like doesn't that kill you it, it, i don't like, like that i don't like that i'm telling you i'm so 33 it's not a, it's not an adult thing that's just a i'm rich and i don't care thing right i don't right. like that it's it's so it's so annoying because like jimmy will throw uh interception and like i remember in the patriots game he was like smiling after like it was like like because <laughs> he, because like I think uh, um what uh, I forget his name the uh, I think it's Ninchovic or whatever his name is he Ninkovic. hit him after yeah yeah he hit him after so he's probably just like laughing about that because hey, it was man, a penalty how you doing? good to see you man like, all like, I know is when Brady messes up even at this at his age forty three years old where he's universally regarded as the greatest player of all time he's pissed exactly he's I told pissed. I tell my, I tell my dad that every time I'm like, yeah. like look at Brady look at Rogers and all these guys these guys are good because they they care about the game they they care about their mistakes right. Like, yeah, they like, care. And what is it? What, why is that important? If you care about making mistakes, then you want to improve. Exactly. If you don't care about making mistakes, then you don't want to improve. And I got to say, I haven't seen Jimmy Garoppolo. Yeah, I do. Four and years. Like, like and, and there's like, it's a silver lining. So because like, you like, I've been seeing on Twitter, like, everyone's like, well, dude, where's Jimmy? Like, just for all this. Like, why isn't he like, like making his voice heard? Like, it's a good thing that he's trying to stay out of it. Like, I mean, yeah. he's just like, he's, it's like, he's turning a blind, like a blind eye or something. But at the same time, it's like, if I'm Jimmy right now, I'm like I'm furious and I'm like I'm hungry. I'm I want to go to another team and prove to the Niners. Yeah, don't you I'm care, not. Jimmy? Say something. Where are you? Say, <laughs> say, demand a trade. Ask to be released. Don't you care that everyone is making fun of you? That your own fan base wants you gone? Like, have some pride. Or are you just like, hey man, I made eighty five million dollars. This game is dangerous. I'm blessed for the time I had here, and I'm gonna get out. Because yeah, if that's like, how it is, then fine. Just say it. Like it, and also like when these players say that Jimmy is like a leadership mentality, I'm just like it, like it's probably like, it's probably like like a PR like it's like they're just trying to like 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 they have yeah that's the franchise leadership. quarterback. I'm not yeah, gonna slander to, my own quarterback yeah, exactly because I'll get in trouble. I see no leadership skills whatsoever. Like like in the booth, like he's literally just like lounging. like um and like when you see like uh when he's injured and in what do you mean you're taking notes, dude? You're the franchise quarterback. You learning still? You're learning. <laughs> Dude, it was so funny. He was and like he, he wasn't even wearing like I know this is like me just like like analyzing like he wasn't wearing Niners gear or anything. He, it, he literally looked like he just checked out of the season. It was really that. And like and the thing is, he has the talent. He, he he's like what six two like like he's a he has a quarterback build right. So he has he's to won a lot of games, man. Yeah, he was a second round pick. Yes. Like I mean, I'm not like and that's where like I'm on Jimmy's side where like he can play the game. He can throw the ball. Like I okay, just, yeah. it hasn't been the same since his his ACL. I don't think. He's yeah, I know, good. but but no, but like. In the um, in the uh, in the Super Bowl, like when he ran, I mean, he ran out of bounds. But I saw your tweet. It was, <laughs> <laughs> hey, but the clock didn't even stop. I was my bad. I was just a I was right because I think it was, it was over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, okay, but anyway, it wasn't a bad. It wasn't dumb actually. It was, but it was no, but I, it's because like and um, Jimmy's just he's just like I, this year was very decisive because he didn't. I think he didn't want to make a mistake, and right. you could tell he like he did not like because he knew he was like on the chopping block kind of kind of because. I mean, I I don't know. It really depends on like what perspective you have on the chopping block. Because like yeah, maybe yeah. Kyle Shanahan, it, if he has him on the chopping block right now, maybe I don't know. Or John Lynch, maybe he well, thought like in twenty nineteen he played with very little confidence, and everyone was like, "Well, he's coming off a torn ACL. Like, give him some time. Give him some time." And then twenty twenty came along, and everyone's like, "All right, this is the year that he's going to be the MVP. He's going to go off." And then you saw week one, like. No, he's he has even less confidence. No, yeah, this was this was he his year. And I think part of that is the court, the head coach never having his back, and the oh, whole yeah. world understanding now where Jimmy Garoppolo. Yeah, stayed. dude, like Kyle Shanahan would like inadvertently like or throw him under the bus every time. He's like he would be in his interviews. Like, oh, I'm right. I'm I'm calling the right plays at the end of the day. Guys are open. <laughs> it's um. It's just what do you think of Jimmy Garoppolo? He's our starting quarterback. He wins games, I guess. Yeah, he you know. He's good for a guy who hasn't played much. Oh, thanks. And, you know, if they get a quarterback like Kirk Cousins or someone, you're going to hear Kyle Shanahan give praise at you every week. Oh, my God, he's the most professional. He's crazy. He's as good as any quarterback. He's, I mean, you know, he, so he'll, certain players, he will just praise and praise and praise and praise, even if they're not playing that well. And other players, it's like, 
you cannot get a compliment out of Kyle Shanahan for that guy. And Jimmy's one of them. Like you, he will not compliment Jimmy. He'll call him CJ Beathard all freaking day. But when it comes to Jimmy, he's like, yeah, you know, yeah, it's fine. I don't know. Maybe that's the kind of coaching Jimmy needs, or maybe it's personal. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, Jimmy. I don't Jimmy, know. I think, but I, I do believe in Jimmy though. I think he can, he can bring this team to the Super. He can't win a Super Bowl though. He has to put it into his. his he needs to stay on the field, man. He needs to find out. He, hey, hey, look, I'm with you. He needs to, he needs to be looking deep within himself right now and answering the question, do you want to play football still? Because I think that's a question. You think that's a question. And you like him. But when you see that dude shrug off interceptions, make the same mistakes every week, and then check out of a season and take notes, how do you not have that question? Yeah. How, do you, how do you not? So, dude, you got a lot to prove, Jimmy. And people wonder if Rosen is sold out to play football. What about Jimmy, man? Yeah, I think Jimmy gets a lot of, like, like they cut him a lot of slack because he's – like he came in that like five and a five and a like start and dude that like that was like um it was it was a instead of a blessing in disguise it was a uh, the opposite of that I guess because like at, at like face value sure like okay the five five and a season like at the end of the, like it was a miserable season and then you have that little like like that like uh, yeah. like dumb start at the end so like yeah. oh, Niners fans are like rejuvenated they're like ready for this to happen and then they're like all right Jimmy towards ACL or right, whatever I mean all right we'll give him one more year and then the year he like kind of pops off like 13 and 15. they're like okay and we'll see her again it's just it's like very uh bipolar like and that's why that's why 49 twitter is so um polarized because like everyone has different opinions about it and like like um and they keep like cherry picking stats and stuff like cherry picking yeah. <laughs> like i mean and great you do that sometimes too i'm not gonna lie you it's do true it. it's true he's 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 okay so it, there's always evidence to point either way if you don't like jimmy you can focus on this stuff if you do like him you can focus on that stuff yeah he's he's an enigma yeah, yeah but at the end of the day like since i'm a fan i have like a it's a different mindset because you're you're just a reporter right and, i'm not and, emotionally tied into him and you exactly, bought crazy. exactly like with the 49ers yeah. like like you you like you enjoy you enjoy just like like just like ripping on them and stuff like yeah, yes it's one of my favorite things to do when you it, it's that's your favorite team, so I understand you take it personally. But my, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> no, it's not because it's, it's entertaining at the end of the day because like like it's good to have another perspective, like a perspective that's not emotionally tied. Because like when you're emotionally tied, like you you have that mental block. It's like oh, I can't say this about this player. Like George Kittle, like there's flaws, but like since he's oh the people's tight end and whatever, like people don't point out his flaws, but he has flaws. And yeah. then like I can look to Grant to like at least like let me see that. <laughs> Hey, but you can't say anything about Frank Gore. That is off limits. I just learned that the hard way. Can't say nothing about oh Frank Gore. I saw that. I was like, dude, Grant, you messed up. So I messed bad. up. It was the funny thing was I was watching like a movie with my wife and I was like sneaking texts. I'm like, I'm not supposed to do that. And all of a sudden now I'm into it with Joe Staley. She's like, what's going on? I'm like, oh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah, nothing. Like the 49ers <laughs> left, like greatest left tackle just like this. Oh, okay. That was cool. I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> The one and Frank Gore was like, we always have brothers Max or something, dude. You got your, you got your stuff. Into- Frank Gore didn't like me when when he was on the team. I was like twenty four. He was thirty. I tried to get a one on one with. Wait, him. how long you been? How, how long you been reporting on the team? Since two thousand eleven. I just found you this year. Like, Since two thousand eleven. All right. Since Harbaugh's <laughs> first year. So like the second year, Frank. I was like twenty four. Frank Gore was thirty. I asked for a one on one, and I already had the reputation as being, you know, who I am. So right. he gets in my face. I was like, yeah, you can interview me, and it's like, it's like the weigh in at a boxing match. Like he gets this close to my face. And the whole interview was like this close. I was like, oh, I can't back up because then I'll be I scared. Frank was like the most down to earth person ever. He I, is, I but know. he, he doesn't, he I doesn't know. like my, <laughs> I, I will, I won't incriminate you even more. Um, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, good stuff, man. Yeah. Thank you for having me, dude.